October in Vietnam marks the beginning of the monsoon season. It was during this period of blanket cloud cover and torrential downpours that the intruder had its first chance to truly shine. Enemy troops once given a reprieve from air attack when the monsoon rain set in, could now expect to be hit in the worst of all weather conditions. The bad weather capability of the A6A came both from the strength of its airframe and the power of its electronics. The digital navigational equipment gives the pilot and his bombardier navigator a clear view of the terrain on an onboard display screen deemed almost space age in 1965. On a sunny day, this display is almost redundant, but in bad weather, it gives the intruder crew a powerful advantage. Deeply enshrouded in a thick layer of clouds, the intruder is in its element. Hurtling headlong through the monsoon rains, the bombardier navigator fixes on a target that the two men will never see with their own eyes. The intruder is not a very fast aircraft, and its unelegant airframe has given it the dubious distinction of being the ugliest plane in the Navy. But it is incredibly strong and it is capable of withstanding a beating that would knock most other conventional military planes from the sky. The heart of the intruder's strength comes from a box beam that is milled from a solid block of aluminum alloy in a manner of construction one would associate more with a house than an airplane. This solid beam passes from one wing through the fuselage to the other wing and is what gives the plane its strength and ability to carry such a massive load of bombs. The effectiveness of the intruder in all weather conditions pleased no one more than the Marines on the ground. In the past, bad weather had meant the absence of close air support. As the clouds moved in, the men on the ground could be certain of one thing. They were on their own. With the A-6 now in the fleet, those days were over. The Marines could now expect full air cover anytime, any weather.